is blackness? Is there such a thing as being too black or not black enough? These are some of the questions I've been asking myself lately and before I get into this video, let me start by saying that I do not necessarily have the answers. Like in the words of Tariq Ali, like um, I'm doing this not because I'm right or to try to prove that I'm right or whatever, but because I just want to get the conversation started. Like we're just we're starting a conversation here, so let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, I'm basically going to be talking about blackness and what does it all mean? Like, is blackness simply just based on my physical appearance? It's just, you know, the color of my skin, the texture of my hair, the language that I speak? Or is it much deeper than that? Like, I can't help but ask myself. And basically, how I want to get this conversation going is basically share with you guys, like, my own experience with dealing with blackness and defining myself and my identity so basically like i grew up mostly in the val but like before that we lived in the west in the western worst and worst and worst and oh my gosh the english you guys in the western cape and when we came to the val i was about like nine years old and i don't know any suitor and suits like the predominant vernacular language there and i remember i used to speak english a lot and People would be like, why are you always speaking English? Are you trying to be white? But I mean, I think it didn't have those, so I probably had like that accent a bit. And I was like, no, it's because you guys speak Sutu. All I know is Zulu and some Kosa. And like, you know, I'm just trying to build a bridge here with English. But even before then, I remember when I went to visit my grandmother in rural KZN, the kids would literally call me umlung, which means that white person. Be um, not because I spoke English, but because my Zulu accent was different from theirs. Even, I think, like, yeah, like, also when you go there, there's certain words they use, which weren't necessarily in my vocabulary. And they used to be like, umlung, and I'm like, no, I'm saying umlung. And they're like, no, we all motion jan, umlung, and bad. And it's just like, I had this sort of, like, conflict, conflict, conflict of... You know, because sometimes, because mm. sometimes, you know, I find myself in spaces which are maybe predominantly white, and I'd be like, okay, I don't want to come off as too black. And when I'm with the black people, sometimes I feel like I'm not black enough. Because I've been to two primary schools and two high schools, right? I've been to a high school and a primary school where the student body was like multicultural multiracial like you know like your model c you know makes everyone goes there i've also been to a high school and a primary school where the student body was like 99 percent just black kids you know and i think that they definitely did shape me a lot in terms of how i view my blackness because i found that when i was with like when, when i was with like you know the black kids even though yes i was speaking mostly english i wouldn't say I'd break my english but i wouldn't speak with like you know my accent or even how i pronounce certain words would be different than when i'm communicating with another race you know or maybe a black person who you know is like from that like multiracial school like i'm i'm like i'm hope i, I hope i'm not coming off as like offensive or anything but basically that's what code switching is it's kind of like and it's a thing it's a subconscious thing where you like you change the way you speak the way you act to be able to fit into you know where you where you're in like you know to basically assimilate into that environment growing up like there were certain things which were i guess you'd say part of black pop culture which i wasn't necessarily aware of or i wasn't necessarily you know a fan of like for example if I don't, if I'm not a fan of house, does that make me white? If I enjoy boy EDM and pop and all that, does that make me white? You know, it's like, it's a question which I really like constantly ask myself. Like, I remember there was a point um, when like a family member stayed at home with us and he said something about my Zulu, you know, saying basically something along the lines that, you know, it's not up to standard or something. And I remember being like, listen here, my guy, we stay in a predominantly Sutu area. At school, 
I speak English. Truth be told, I spend most of my time away from home. The only time when I actually do get to speak Zulu is literally at home and with like the odd friend. Like I had like, you know, a few friends, you know, in my circle who are also Zulu. But like literally most of my time is spent outside of this house. And it's like that does not make me any less Zulu, you know, than anyone else. But then it also it begs the question because you know like a lot of these younger kids you find that they literally are not fluent or they cannot speak at all their mother tongues. Like, honestly, it, it saddens me. It really, really saddens me. Because sometimes you find, like, I've noticed when I'll be, like, you know, at the shops or whatever, the parents will be speaking to each other in, you know, let's say, Sutu, Zulu, whatever, and then they come to the child and then they'll be like, yeah, so what do you want? You know, it's like that pooty girl, like, you know, that, that girl who, who went viral because she... She's like, Pooty, look, it's a Pooty. Like, if I find that clip, I'll insert it in. Look, Pooty. <laughs> oh, it's not a Pooty. It's a Pooty. Pooty. Look, look. Look. I'm not, you know, trying to be politically insensitive because I know that this, the topic of race is a very sensitive issue. You know? And... I can't, I feel like it would be dense of me to be like, I don't want to get political, but let's be honest, it is a political issue. And so it's something which I am still learning about every single day. So let's not go too deep down the rabbit hole. But when it comes to cultural appropriation, who are the gatekeepers of a specific culture? That's what we have to ask ourselves. Because something which I've realized, you know, all, the, all these, you know, people who get um, a lot of heat or controversy around cultural appropriation, there's someone from that culture who's giving them the go ahead, who's saying it's okay, take the Kardashians. You know, the Kardashians are constantly getting, um, what's the word? Clap back, not clap back. But people are constantly coming at them for, you know, appropriating, you know, black culture, specifically, I think, African American black culture. And the thing is, while, yes, I mean, it's true that, I mean, if you take, like, the, when they do cornrows, or, I mean, they do a lot of, like, racially insensitive things. Or, not insensitive, but, like, ignorant. I can't really find the word. But, like, the thing is, they, they have black people in their circle, in their inner circle, who are giving them the go-ahead, who are saying, yes, girl, rock those cornrows, or saying, yes, girl, them braids are looking good or who's saying girl why don't you do braids or you know that's the thing and that's why i feel like it is a really like this whole conversation of what is blackness it literally can take like many different we can look at it from many different angles and um if you were hoping to find any answers in this video um yeah i as i said i don't have the answers i just really want to get the conversation started so i'd love to hear from you guys in the comments what are your what is your take on blackness i mean we just celebrated heritage days so i think it's really um it's really appropriate it's really in line with the time and like please like educate me because as i said like i just want to start the conversation you know so i'd like to learn from you guys because i am in no shape or form coming from a place of i have all the answers you know i know what's going on so yeah i think that's enough rambling on this topic thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up and if you have any video suggestions for me i'm really open for that leave them down in the comments below or you can check me out on social media at simply special on all platforms so yeah hit that subscribe hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every time i upload a new video and so i'll see you guys then in the next one i love you so much bye